Hello everyone, Fadi here from Pack a Punch Traders. Just gonna make a quick video lesson, going over my top plays for tomorrow. Um, the last day of the trading week. We have Friday off. Tomorrow's gonna be Thursday. We have Good Friday. It's Holy Week um, for Catholics this week. So let's just jump into it. Um, MDVL. So recent runner going from. Let's do the math precisely together so we got 8575 where it closed 8575 5 262 262 minus 8575 divided that by 8575 so 205% runner um, now we are roughly getting close to 50% um, off the highs. Two red days now. I usually start looking for the multi-day bounce after the first red day. So we'll see if we get some bottoming action tomorrow. But similar to today with Fio, with the bounce play, um, had a little popular late day. Didn't see that happening, the way this was downtrending. But solid push today. Like typically how we look for this, uh, we let it set the high, ideally off of a perk or whatever it is, just looking for that high break. So that shows the momentum shift that is failing to head lower and break to new lows. And now it wants to bounce and break some highs. So this one ended up being a nice play, 129 to 150. I was trading this 132 to 147. Getting majority of the move. Felt pretty good there. We also had Viru, which is a top watch tomorrow. Because now it's a breakout play. We'll get into that. I hesitated on taking the breakout after hours. And it looks like I'm going to regret that. We'll see how this thing acts. But taking it similar way. If you take a look at how we approach it. Entry, 1064. Looking for it to get back and break the highs here got it a little prematurely but it was chopping around as it was testing this area on strong volume and it failed to go red green so i saw that as a bullish signal as well came back to vwap and we got the strong push traded this one poorly um got faked out here with the fat red candle thinking it's a double top uh did end up holding up but took it from 1064 to 10 or 11 23 so just under 60 cents, a little over 5%, nothing crazy. But ended up being choppy play, holding trend the whole day. And then ended up taking off here into the close, totally missed it. But my attention was on it when it was getting to the 13s here. Because um, I remember we got 14.57, previous high day or multi-day breakout. Former runner into a short week. Tomorrow is going to be treated like a Friday. So I think shorts might end up getting squeezed on this. Ideally, this sets up like ATER where I don't care about missing the, what do you call it? The break late day after hours. Ends up coming back, failing the breakdown, confirms it and gives the move here similar to this. So we'll see if that happens there. But I guess we've got two things out of Viru. The lesson with the multi-day bounce. And now we're looking for the breakout because that's all my watch list for tomorrow. For sure, we'll see how this opens up. Might not be there tomorrow morning. But for now, I'm liking this as a potential setup. A lot of eyes are on this. Doing insane volume in the past three days. So definitely a lot of demand there. Failing to break down. So ideally just gives the opportunity tomorrow to trade it. If not, it's okay. It'll probably be something else. But yeah, hesitated here. At 1450, and you know, we got a solid move dollar and a half or so. And then lastly, LIXT looking for a potential bounce play. Um, saw this thing as a potential play today, but I usually wait for a red day. And even though yesterday didn't finish, um, what do you call it? Red from the open, or sorry, green from the open. It did finish green from the previous close. So still overall momentum green here. 
just need a, a day where shorts are confirmed in control like today it's a confirmed red day so tomorrow we'll, we'll start looking for a multi-day bounce it looks like it's trying to bottom out here in the mid ones so yeah low float I think this one had an offering I forgot I think this one might have had an offering I forgot what the play was or was that Hoth I think that was Hoth um, let me get into that I think it was this one actually let me see the chart Oof, uh, never mind let me just check what is the news um, but yeah, these are the top three plays, just a couple bounce plays, um, and a breakout play. So, that's kind of it. L-I-X-T, multi-day bounce, Viru, breakout play. Ideally, it tops out here and then just starts fading, pulls the A-T-E-R that I did today. And we'll do that tomorrow with Viru. And lastly... MDVL, solid run, 200% here on the front side. Now we got a few days of fade. Shorts are in control. 40, probably around 40% off the highs. So now we're just looking for that bounce. Um, we'll just wrap it up there. Not much to go over. I'm trying to be more picky with my plays and not have a bunch of plays on my watch list like, usu like usual. So we'll just call it there. I uh, hope everyone has a great day. Like and subscribe. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out the watch list on Twitter. I'm gonna post that now in a moment. And on Tradecaster tomorrow, we're gonna be going live in the morning for live trading. But also, we're gonna do 15 minutes from 8:45 a.m. East Coast time to around 9 for just a little pre-market prep. See what's going on. Preview the market. See what we're seeing. So yeah, check that out. Hope this was useful. And we'll catch you guys later.